what would a uni united Europe look like? Um, I think the most important aspect is help because um, each country can do, pi can do fine by itself but um, the whole purpose of having a united Europe is that when one member is struggling the other pitches in and can help and can improve and give back uh, to, to a neighboring country etc. Uh, what, what is the current right now for example with the f uh, crisis in Greece that uh, yes many countries helped but then there were other countries that said uh, yeah but uh, why are we helping them uh, we uh, give so much money uh, of taxes etc in there and we don't get nothing back but um, I think many people miss the purpose of having a united Europe which I believe in its first basis and in the first place is help uh, helping each other and helping each other become better and improve and uh, pr prosper and, and also because um, people shouldn't forget uh, history because there was a time where they also needed help and um, I'm talking about Germany in particular here they also were forgiven for a lot of things and um, including debt and um, so I think there's a time for everyone where you need help and when you are here to help are there other aspects that I think you think are important in the United Europe I'm Maria, uh, originally from Serbia, but at the moment I live in Berlin. And as for the United Europe, I'd like to say that, uh, as it's already been mentioned, uh, the solidarity is a crucial aspect, while at the same time cherishing the diversity. And uh, I have to say that uh, I strongly disagree when um, it said that the culture is taken away from uh, different European countries, uh, that that's what the European Union wants. I uh, strongly believe that uh, those cultures uh, themselves are being cherished. And one can notice that when traveling throughout Europe. Um, and uh, as for the United Europe, as said, yeah, solidarity, diversity, and synergy. So, um, taking the advantage of the strengths of each uh, country and making the region itself strong. Linking to that opportunities are also what uh, defines United, uh, United Europe because uh, you come from Serbia, you live in Berlin, uh, you come from Germany, you're traveling all around, I come from uh, Belgium, currently I live in the Netherlands. Um, it's striving for, for something, something more, something more than uh, what you can get locally and um, giving even back because uh, many times you can uh, study abroad and uh, learn crafts or uh, learn something that you hadn't, didn't have the opportunity locally and come back and give back to your community and uh, that's also what United Europe is about I think striving and realizing opportunities. Do you feel that the European Union is doing exactly that and now we have a new, there's someone with a very strong opinion on that. Please uh, yes. introduce yourself. Hello, my name is uh, Astrid. I'm yeah. Dutch yes. uh, and I currently live in Switzerland. So the European Union started in the 50s, I believe. Yes, and then it, the first uh, reason why it's there is to not have war. I'm a bit older than some of you. I have not lived through the war, but I'm a second generation. My parents have, and they've suffered, and so on. So, so let's not forget that, that there's been uh, 20 centuries of war in Europe, and there's now 40 years of peace, including the Eastern European integration. And that is the main, main thing that we should all be extremely grateful for and preserve. The, the third is, is linked to I, uh, European identity and I think this is, uh, Switzerland is, has been uh, mind-blowing to me in this respect. Because uh, people always talk about becoming European as if something has been taken away. And we need to give as much as possible autonomy back to the regions, the countries, however you name it, so people first have their roots grounded somewhere, that's where they're born or where their parents are from, and on top of that they can uh, get a uh, European um, identity or how you want to call it. So we have uh, Andreas joining us. Please uh, introduce yourself. 
Yeah, so I'm Andreas. I'm from originally from Sweden. Live in Ukraine currently. Um, and I, of, I just had to when when you st uh, come started the talks about peace, I had to I had to comment because the fact is that we have war in Europe right now, but not within the European Union, right? So the European Union has managed for all this time to keep peaceful in within, but at the same time we have a war in Europe for the very reason, like or connected to the reason that one country wants to be come part of this uh, club, like people make a revolution for European values and and you can see that there are other forces that are uh, working against that and I, yeah, I, what I want to say with that is I, I think that in a way that shows the importance of uh, of the European Union and but also the importance of embracing those countries uh, right now at the borders of what is the United Union, but who really wants to get get inside, um, because they are they are ready, but maybe for some reason the Union is not. Uh, is there too much skepticism to, to expansion? I can talk, for example, on the example of Serbia. So uh, at the moment we have a situation where Serbia would be really happy to join the EU. However, there is a never-ending Kosovo question, uh, and uh, for that question there is uh, simply no solution. So the situation is uh, very complex and uh, I understand that on one hand because of the, because of the relations with the US, uh, the EU simply couldn't uh, say um, yeah Kosovo is a finished story. Uh, but at the same time, um, it's uh, very problematic for Serbia, and Serbia cannot really accept it uh, that way, so that leaves um, Serbia away from the EU, even though I believe that when Serbia joins the EU, that would bring so much to the country, so much, and not in uh, terms of economic development, but in terms, of, um, in terms of the situation in the country on the, when it comes to mentality, when it comes to uh, regulation, when it comes to justice. And I think there are some questions that are not uh, easy to answer and we cannot find simple solutions to that.